What's going on everybody? I hope your day is going wonderfully as always. You know, life is good. Life is beautiful. I'm here to do my best to express that to you. But today, the best way that I can express that to you all is through a question that I received on Facebook that really spoke to me. And I think a lot of people can relate to what this young lady is going through. So I'm going to read the question and then I'm going to do my best to offer a little insight and a couple of ideas as to what I would do in that situation. And um, hopefully it aids you in your journey. Right. Um, but the question's from a uh, Ruzora. I apologize if I pronounce your name wrong, but just know I pronounce it with love. So, <laughs> but um, she said in the message, I kind of talked to you on Twitter like a week ago, but I also wanted to message you because I think you're really great. Hey, I appreciate that. Much love. I think you're great as well. Uh, I'm in a giant sinkhole in my life right now, and when I stumbled across your videos, I kind of regained my drive. Uh, I've always been spiritual and inclined to Mother Earth, also a vegan, so hey. Uh, and your words and thoughts have given me such clarity. The problems I'm facing now, however, have me in a mental chokehold. I was raised in Los Angeles, but I have been in my birth country for over half a year now because of passport mishaps. Uh, I'm far away from the people I love, I can't further my education, I can't get a job, and I don't have a home anymore, and I can't leave. Dreaming used to be one of my favorite things in life, but for almost eight months now, I have been having nightmares that are either violent or gory or depressing or heartbreaking or just straight up unpleasant. Um, I watch your videos at night to give me a boost of positivity, but the nightmares still come. Uh, they leave me drained and anxious, so I end up staying up till around 6 a.m. thinking about all of my miseries. Uh, it's awful. So please, is there anything you think I can do to improve my situation? Uh, thank you and much love. Well, Rizora, um, first off, I want to say um, I'm sorry you're going through so such hardship right now, man. I know it's no fun. It's no fun going through you know such you know crazy shifts and changes, especially when you, know, you didn't foresee them or you didn't want them you know to happen in the first place. But uh, I think that's part of life, man. Life is life is going to challenge you. Each and every single one of us, we have our challenges and. Um, Regardless of whether we want those challenges or not, we gotta we gotta take them, and we gotta make the best out of them. But I mean, I think one of the most beautiful thing about these challenges is um, it gives you the opportunity. It gives you an opportunity to uh, rise or fall. It gives you the opportunity to call on, you know, an inner strength that you may not have even known you had if it wasn't for the challenge. So um, I think this is a great opportunity for you to. Um, grow as a person and I'm gonna do my best to help you grow as a person and help you come out on top when it comes to all this hardship that you're going through and, and the people in this community we're gonna send you love we're gonna send you love and, uh, and light and, and hope uh, that you're able to walk away from this um, you know happier stronger and uh, more fulfilled as as a uh, Ruzora all right so as far as your dreams one thing I've learned about dreams is they can act as a beautiful um, you know, guide to understanding what exactly it is that's going on within you and what needs to change. You know? um, and dreams often reflect the emotional and uh, mental state you're in. And you know, it makes sense that you're having nightmares right now because you're going through a lot of changes. You're, you're in a culture that you're probably not used to. You, you're not uh, with you know, your loved ones in the way you like to be with them. Like you said, you, you you don't have a stable job or home, and you know so things are really rough for you right now. So it makes sense that uh, you know you're having nightmares and, because it's probably you're probably in an emotional state. You probably don't feel as safe as you want to feel. Uh, probably a good amount of fear happening uh, internally. Probably anger, frustration, resentment, regret. A lot of things, a lot of emotions that don't make you feel good. Emotions that possibly tear you down are running through you right now. So it makes sense that you're having nightmares. So I want to offer you a couple of ideas that will help you come out of that 
uh, mental and emotional state that you're in because right now that's everything. It's uh, that's, that's the most important thing that can happen for you right now is for you to come out of that mental state and emotional state you're in so that you can create and move towards the future that you want to be a part of. Um, the first thing that I want to offer you, the first piece of advice I want to offer you is um, in order to, it's, it's easier to go from positive to negative when you have a space in the middle of silence. What does that mean? Silence your mind. I noticed you said in the in the message that uh, that um, you stayed up to like 6 a.m. thinking about all of your miseries. So it's apparent that your mind is really, really active right now. And so right now, don't even try to focus on being positive and thinking optimistically. The most important thing you can do right now is to cut off all of those those negative thoughts. And you do that by silencing your mind. I, I've shared a video. I'll put a link up here somewhere so that you can watch it on how to clear your mind. But I'll show you with you a little insight right here right now so you can um, utilize it immediately. But um, you know the most powerful way that you know I found to clear my mind and, and to quiet my mind is to simply be. You know, uh, to simply be at peace. So meditation is a great way to uh, you know to be at peace, to sit and to observe your thoughts and, and rather than uh, you know, judge them or, or yell at them or try to stop them, just allow them to flow and observe them and be at peace with them. And as you begin to be at peace with them, you'll see them beginning to kind of calm down. To Because when, when you're fighting them, you're just fueling the thoughts, you know. When you, when you fight the negative thoughts, you're fueling the negative thoughts. Stop fueling the thoughts and just observe them. You know, it's, well, if, if you're about to get into a fight with somebody and they're like, hey, what's up? Hey, hey. And they, and they try to, like, get under your skin and you just stare at them. You just stare at them and you, and you don't react. They're going to be like, hey, get mad. Get mad. Man, whatever, man. And then, you know, they, most likely the fight won't happen, you know. You got to, to make a fight happen, you got to fuel the fight with the same kind of energy. So stop fueling frustration with frustration. Stop fueling your anger with anger. Stop fueling your sadness with sadness. And instead, just watch it. Just look at it. Be at peace with it. And it'll simmer down and it'll go away. Um, at least in my experience, that's, that's how it's worked. So, um. The first idea is just to quiet your mind. The second thing I noticed in your in your paragraph that you sent me is uh, you said you can't further your education, but I don't think that's true. If you have access to the internet, if you're able to watch these videos, then I think that you definitely have the opportunity to us uh, to continue your education, um, and that's going to be really important for you right now because uh, one thing you know that's true is your thoughts are creative and. In order for you to create what you want, you got to have the right thoughts. So continue to sculpt your consciousness with other uh, forms of consciousness, like what you're doing right now, watching this video. Consciousness affects consciousness. So you know, reach out to people, uh, watch YouTube videos that empower you, that help you uh, grow in strength in the areas in which you may feel weak. You know, if I'm strong in, in a certain area, Allow my consciousness to affect that area in which you want to get stronger in. You know, so read the books, go online and try to find some ebooks, some free books, some you know, go to different YouTube channels. Uh, Elliot Hulse is a wonderful person. I'm always going to recommend his channel because you know, shared a lot of wisdom with me, has helped me grow. So I'll leave a link for his videos as well. You know, but there's tons of different uh, people out there that are sharing. Uh, really, really insightful, powerful ideas that will aid you. So continue to, you know, allow other forms of consciousness to affect your consciousness. And in doing so, you'll find that your dreams begin to shift in the direction. After you silence your mind, of course, you need to silence all those thoughts that aren't aiding you. But, um, you know, allow that consciousness to affect your consciousness and you'll see the difference. And uh, the last thing I want to share with you is I think it'd be very, very uh, helpful for you to enjoy where you're at right now. I know it may be difficult. I don't know where you're at. I don't know what it's like, but um, 
one thing I would recommend is try to find something to love. Try to find something to love while you're there. Um, a person, a friend, uh, a hobby, uh, an area, nature. Uh, get in touch with something and, and find something to love. It'll make your time there much more pleasant. It'll help you create more positive thoughts that are going to help you create what you want to create, you know? So find something to, to summon. Find a reason to summon good energy. Find a reason to summon positivity. You know, um, you know, if there's someone that's going through what you're going through right now, help them through it. You know, help them through what you're going through. Give them advice, and in doing so, you'll find that you're, oh wow, you're giving yourself advice at the same time. Give. Even though you're in a situation in which you feel like you may not have a lot to give, give. Because in giving, that creates the fact that you have something to give, you know. And um, I think it's important that each one of us feels like we have something to give, we have something to offer. So... With those three pieces of uh, advice, I, I hope it aids you in your journey. The nightmares will go away. You just, you know, you just gotta stop replaying the thoughts and the emotions that um, create such horrific dreams, you know, and begin to let those settle down, and then bring in other forms of consciousness to help you bring out the, you know, the right thoughts and help and, and put the right thoughts in and, and keep those on replay. And you'll see those thoughts will lift you up and carry you to where you want to go. So, as always, much love to you, Rizora, and everyone else who's watching this video. Hope this aids you in your journey, in your evolutionary journey. If it aided you, if you found it inspiring or helpful, please leave a comment. Like this video, thumbs it up, and share it with somebody who, who you think may be able to use the words. Alright? So, until next time, y'all be easy. Life is good.